I want to leave with a little tribute to Megan Rapino, the world's most annoying sports star, who's now retired from international uh, soccer. Uh, and she said this. I feel like the stuff off the field is, um, like, the reason I'm, you know, here on this planet. That feels um, like my life's work and um, something that um, just feels like breathing to me. So... Um, I love that work. Um, you know, I love being able to leverage this amazing platform and um, use that to, you know, in some way make the world a, a better place. Oh, shut up. Honestly. Good for her. You're yeah, a good for her. <laughs> you kick a round little ball around. That's it. Nobody wants to see you, see you make the world a better place. And let me tell you what she means by this stuff off the pitch is that now she's retired, now she says she wants to see biological males who've transitioned to be trans women play in the women's national soccer team. Not while she was playing herself, so they couldn't take her place, uh, these biological males, but now she'd be quite happy for that to happen. In fact, she wants it to happen. If that's what your contribution is to women's rights, because she's basically saying, look at me, I did all this stuff for women's rights. Actually, Miss Rapino, what you've done, you've left with a little sting in the tail, is that now, having fought for women's rights, for pay uh, parity and so on, which I totally applaud you for, now you've left endorsing something that would destroy women's rights to fairness and equality. That is your legacy. Anyone got a thought? Yeah, the um, progress. <laughs> it's absolutely absurd to suggest. You know, the reason that she's left at this point is because her life has become so difficult as she's tried to campaign for fairness and equality for trans women in sport. Mm. Even as she's, you know, fought for a very, very long time to get through all of these measures that you've just said have been really, really important. We've reached the stage where the, t the political debate about trans people has become so toxic so Erling Haaland, that she feels like she right, has Grace. to step down right, Grace. in order to be a so full-time campaigner. Erling Haaland, Erling Haaland says, I'm a woman. He can play in the women's the team. Of trans, in the women's team. The number of trans Alina, people Alina that are going to be I, in I this position. It. It's, it's not hang on, oh, hang on. Very important game. question, Grace. Can Erling Haaland, if he says I now identify as a woman, play in the Norwegian uh, national he, he women's Manchester team? Manchester City. He massive. He's the best striker right. in the world. Man he's City, six foot four. Yeah. He's a massive beast. He scores goals every ten seconds in the men's game. Are you if happy? If he suddenly decided yeah. to become trans, yeah. to go through all of the yeah. horror, actually, you don't have to go the, through anything. The, the just like just self ID. No, no, you go through nothing. He, he, he self identifies as trans. Yeah. He deals with all of the the pushback on social media, yeah. the death threats, yeah. everything that he's going to get as a result of that, and then says, "I want to." Play in the I Norwegian women's woman, team. Then, you know, the, the team would be <laughs> able to legitimately make a decision as to whether or not that was an so, yeah. That is exactly, not. that is yeah. the Megan Rapino position right there. You are our Megan Rapino. You've just destroyed. Thanks. You're saying one... that I'm a, an international women's soccer player. Amazing. No, I'm saying Happy you're relatively irritating. Uh, <laughs> uh, take a position which Here's is always the wrong. The feeling is mutual. And on this one, <laughs> <laughs> and on this one, you have just endorsed Erling Haaland playing women's football, which of course would destroy women's football. Congratulations, women's rights nil. I didn't. But look, look, look. I didn't know you were I didn't know you had the power to destroy look, women's bi football. Biological sex matters, right? Yeah. And you, men, born as men, shouldn't be playing yeah. women's sport. But Rapino, free speech. What's wrong with that? She's, Get, nothing. She's, she's, allowed nothing. She's allowed to be. She's allowed to be. She's allowed to be. Nothing. And by the way, yeah. nothing wrong with me exercising my right to free speech to say it's complete, a bit like Grace's <laughs> position on Ellie Harlan, who she only just heard of. <laughs> complete <laughs> clap trap. A man uh, can apparently destroy women's football at the touch of a hat. It Crazy. would. It would. It would. Uh, but thank you, Pat.